Alright, first uh, set of handles getting made here. Just drilling them out. Alright, and so it, uh, it uh, drilled all those holes, reamed them, um, got them all the right size. Uh, there's a bit of a lip in there, so the screw head will sit in there. And it's about to get mounted for the next cycle on this, and uh, I'll have that up here in a second. Okay, so I've got it all bolted down here. Uh, one thing that I didn't take into account uh, when I was uh, writing the program was... Uh, uh, one thing I didn't take into account was the height of the screw in the hole. So I'm not sure if uh, when it's going over, shaping the handles, if it's actually going to hit the top of the screw. But if it does, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's probably just going to make some noise. Anyway, here's a program I'll be running. Uh, it's 300,000 lines of code, um, but we'll go ahead and we'll get started here. First thing it should do is call for a 3 8 inch end mill, which it does. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. We've already zeroed it to the pallet. We're going to set the tool offset to, I think, 5. 3 8 inch end mill. And go. Alright, so I just finished those, so we're going to raise the tool up and change over to a uh, quarter inch ball mill. Here we go. Go in here, change this to tool six. All right, yeah, a quarter inch ball mill. That's what we just put in. Hit go again. And what it should be doing is chamfering the top edge like I normally do on my knives. Um, it's probably going to run into the aluminum a little bit. A little bit. Not much. that step and it should go straight into the next step after this. Now well, it's going to call for the next tool and the next tool is the same tool so we're just going to hit go again. This is where we learn if it's going to hit the screws.
something's wrong with the offset. Alright. Alright, so I fixed the tool offset. Uh, now it's just going to cut the top of the handles out. And we should end up with a pretty cool texture uh, when it's all said and done. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to hit the screws, so we're good there. Uh, and I'll turn it back on in a few minutes. Alright, so I just finished one direction of the cross cut and starting the other direction. Just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. I mean, that actually would be a pretty cool handle, but I want to come at it from two different directions. So this is actually going to put almost like a diamond pattern in it. I'll show it to you guys when it's done. Alright, so the mill just uh, finished up. You see here, this is what it's going to look like. I'll get another video here in a minute after I pop these off. I'll probably hit them in the sandblaster real quick. Um, just to knock off any machining marks or whatever. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys. Alright, so here they are after they've been pulled off the pallet. Um, you can see here, this one's still a little shiny. This is... Uh, and you see where it's kind of shiny um, where the machine uh, was working on it this is one that I sandblasted and it matted down pretty nice there's a little bit of WD-40 there but it uh, it matted down pretty nice so I'm pretty happy with that and here's one that's been fixed to a handle um, the handle's been ground on by hand a little bit so there's about 10 thousandths overlap that I'll have to, to sand off uh, for the, uh, I like it. It's pretty good. Um, I'll probably round over the corners a little bit more um, next time. Just fillet them a little bit more. Anyway. See, it's got a little bit of curvature to it, and then there's about a 3 16 round over all the way around, or 3 16 chamfer all the way around. But as a proof of concept for a first test, definitely worked well. Um, there'll be plenty more where this came from.